Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to download and install fonts for GIMP for Mac. I just released a tutorial on how to install fonts for Windows so check that out if you're a Windows user. But this will be using GIMP 2.10.14 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. But of course, before I get into that, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here, as well as my GIMP book of layers and GIMP and Inkscape help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy. You can check out any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. Your premium membership includes access to my GIMP Help Center app, my GIMP book of layers, and exclusive GIMP content not seen on YouTube. You can start your premium membership with a seven day free trial and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So in the Windows version of this tutorial, I mentioned there are several places to get free fonts that you can use in GIMP. You can use 1001fonts.com, Font Squirrel, and what I prefer even with the Mac is going to be Google Fonts. And so all these places allow you to download free fonts so I don't recommend purchasing premium fonts unless you really have to for licensing reasons or things like that. But all you have to do is open up a browser. There are some browsers that will not work with Google Fonts. I'm using Google Chrome here. And I'm just gonna type in Google Fonts and hit the enter key. And you'll just click on the first link that comes up here. That will take you to Google Fonts and you can search through all of the free fonts they have on here. I'm just gonna pick a random font to download. So I'll go with the Cambay font here. If I click on this, it'll take me to the font page. You can see all of the characters that are included in this font and all of the different styles as well. So there are four styles on here. And I'll come over and click select this font. So that'll make the font available right over here in this little tab. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm going to come over here and click the little download icon. That will download my font as a zip file. Click on this little arrow and go to show in finder. So here is the zip file. All you have to do for Mac is double click on it and that will automatically zip the file. And so here are all the fonts inside of that file. If I double click on this folder, you can see here the various fonts are that are available. So just like Windows, there are a couple of different ways you can install fonts. So if one of the ways doesn't work, you can try another way. The first way is to open up GIMP. So here's GIMP and go over here to the GIMP 2.10 menu item and click on preferences. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom and click to expand folders and then come down here to fonts here you'll see a couple folders. Just click on the first folder here. That's the one I used. And come over to this icon here and this is going to show the font folder inside of a finder window. So here's the font folder. If I double click on that, that'll take me inside the font folder. I'll move this off to the right a little bit and grab our Cambay font folder. If I wanted to install all these, I can click on the first one, shift click on the bottom one, command C to copy it. Click on my fonts, finder, and command V. That will paste it. Now if I come over here, I'm going to cancel out of the preferences dialog. And if I go to windows, dockable dialogs, fonts, that opens up the font window here inside of GIMP, the font dockable dialog. And if I click this little refresh button, it'll refresh the fonts. And now if I scroll up to the list of C fonts here. Now you'll see we have Cambay and all the various styles that came with that Cambay download. So you can see those right here. And if I go to File, New, and I'll go with the default and click OK. And I'm gonna make sure my color here for my font is set to black. Grab the text tool, click on the canvas, and with the caps lock key on, I'll type this font. Hit the Enter key, Installed. Command A will select everything. I can click on one of these fonts here. And of course we can increase the size if we wanna see it better. So there is the first installation method. The second method once again is going to be pretty much the same as Windows. So what I'll do is come over here and grab the finder window. Let's exit out of the font window. Let's pretend we didn't drag these font files into that font folder. So the other method is when we're inside of this Cambay font folder, I can double click on a font and down here it says install font. 
So when I click on that, that will install this font on my computer. And if I click right here, this will show me all the variations of the font. Right now I only have the bold style. So for this particular font, I'd have to go in individually and install each style of the font. However, in some cases, the font will come with a file that allows you to install all of the various font types with a single click. So that was the case for this Oswald font here. But once you've installed the font on your computer, you can come back to GIMP, hit the refresh icon, and that font will be here. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You could check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.